What's up guys, Newbie here, and today I wanted to go over a new piece of GamePro software, and that is the uh, Shiny Type Nail software. And the first thing you need to do is make sure you save your game directly in front of Gladion. Put your 3DS into your GamePro, and then we'll jump over onto the computer. Okay, so I'm just in the Dropbox folder here, and I'm going to run this Shiny Type Nail Static, currently version 1.1, and we'll just double click that. And as usual, it asks you which camera to open, which is normally zero. And that's opened up the GamePro webcam. And you will notice it seems to have opened up three different um, windows here, uh, as well as this box. So, yes, that is the correct camera. Um, COM port. All right, so this um, software is a little bit more, uh, uses some of the OpenCV features a little bit more than some of the other software. And uh, I need to pay credit to a guy, Kyle Honslow, who does some tutorials on uh, OpenCV. So I've actually used um, or adapted some of his code from one of his tutorials. So I'll link that tutorial down in the description if you guys are interested. Um, but what you'll notice is, so we've got the original image here. And then we've got this uh, unusual looking image. This is an HSV image, hue, saturation and value. So it's just... Um, it's a different way of looking at an image rather than using RGB values and uh, it normally makes object detection a little bit more easy. Um, so you'll see here when the type null shows up it makes certain parts of it um, look like it kind of glows. And then up here we've just got this white image which is a threshold image. We're going to uh, start using that shortly. So you can see the software's just said set up target pixels and HSV. Um, and the other thing you'll notice is we've got these track bars over here. So we're actually going to use those along with this threshold image um, to set the values that we want to um, try and determine when we've actually found the shiny. So with type null it doesn't change too much in terms of its coloration. There's just some bits like for example inside of its tail here and this piece here that go more of a gold sort of a color on the shiny version. So what we need to do is go over to these track bars and the idea is we want to adjust these um, and then look at the change on the threshold image and we're trying to make it so that this part of the tail stays white on the threshold image but everything else that's a different color goes black. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this H max value and I'm going to start decreasing it and you'll see it's starting to filter out on the white image some of the other colors. So we want to make sure the inside of that tail, we don't filter that out. And then and the other end will start coming up from zero with the minimum value. And we'll leave it about there for now because we can see there's still some white on the inside of the tail, which is what we want. But we've got a lot of this background stuff that we also need to filter out. So we're going to do the same with the uh, saturation. that's going to get rid of a lot of that background all right and likewise with the value It's just flickering a little bit more than I want to at the moment. That's a bit better. Then we just want to filter out some of that body a little bit more. There we go, that's looking pretty good. So you can see it's pretty much showing up um, the bits that are that grey sort of colour. Um, they're all showing up in this image is white but everything else is filtered out it's picked up a little bit of this text as well because it thinks it's a similar sort of color uh, the other thing we've got on here is these x max x min y min y max values so we're just going to adjust those and you'll see it's affecting these uh, these red or well, basically it's a red box in this original image so we want to use that to target the uh, the pixels that we're looking for which as I mentioned, probably the best one to use is uh, the, the tail. There we go, so we're more or less zoomed in on here. 
and then we can just click on the original image press any key and it will soft reset and that should all be configured now um, so we'll just let that run through its cycle um, just from the soft reset and this one's it takes a little bit of time actually this because of the amount of text just when you're talking with Gladion here it goes for a little while um, one of the things you want to make sure when it gets to this point you'll see there's there's some white showing up on this top screen here um, because some of the parts of the background look similar to that gray color but you want to make sure Gladion's hair is at least filtered out because it's kind of that yellowy color it's quite similar to the gold that will show up um, when the shiny encounter actually occurs there we go so that's filtering the image quite nicely a little soft reset and you'll see it says here the number of number of white pixels that it picked up and that little region was 439 so when that number drops below 100 the current threshold is set to um, that's when it will pick up a shiny encounter um, one thing that can happen if you haven't quite got these values set properly and it gets a false trigger um, then it will give you the opportunity just to readjust some of those um, values and then reset them and carry on rather than having to uh, run the whole program again right from the beginning all right so that's set up now and you can just leave that running um, as I said it's a good idea to check on this one from time to time um, just to make sure you've got your your filtered values working properly and also one thing that um, I sometimes do I have actually put a cardboard box over the top of the game pro at the moment just to prevent any ambient light affecting it because this one relies on the um, color identification it's good to make sure you're not getting um, some background light affecting the readings so as I said as always we just uh, sort of leave that running and um, come back at some stage later and hopefully we've had some luck so this is some footage I captured earlier when I was testing the software and you can see I managed to find a shiny type null notice the coloration is quite different in the tail and also the tip of its mask it's more of that sort of gold kind of a color and then if we jump over onto the PC screen and have a look, it took me 1,426 soft resets. And you'll notice on the threshold screen, uh, it's not picking up the color of the tail anymore. So that's how it was able to detect the shiny. And you can see the HSV image is quite different. So there's proof the software does work, uh, but I'd love to have any feedback from anyone who's already got a Game Pro. Also, um, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video or a comment. Uh, I appreciate the feedback. And until next time, see ya.